Welcome back to the ASUS ROG Dream League, where we have to eat our words because we have nothing else to eat. But yeah, that game you happened. You lied to us. Why did I lie More specifically, you? me. What? What did you I do? You got my hopes up, man. During the first game, you're like, yeah, I ordered food. I took care of it. <laughs> you actually <laughs> said that. Fucking liar. Yeah. I know. Because and then I you asked for okay, pizza. No, no, no. Here, no. Here's the thing. I asked for pizza. I'm like, no, that's so cheap. Like, people, I, I know people might do that. So I, I'm like, I'm going right, to sort this out. We didn't want to yeah, so make people send us Exactly. Food. Because it happened in the past. It's funny, but it's like, yeah, no. And he doesn't like, like, 90% of the pizza. So, yeah. We have that problem as well. Anyways, yeah, I, I said that in order to defuse. But yeah, food is coming. Don't worry. You're doing it again. <laughs> no, Swiss. Guess who's going to pay Trust for the me. food, Bruno? Trust me this time. I'm not crying wolf. I'm crying pizza. Uh, but yeah, uh, speaking of eating and eating our words, we were saying that Bristolback didn't pan out so well for the late game. And in this case, it kind of did. Well, he carried his team mid-game more than he did late-game, yeah. because mm -hmm. during the mid-game, he was able to just absorb a ridiculous amount of damage and just be a space creator for the team that allowed BZZ to pretty much get six-slotted. Like, let's be honest, BZZ did not play well that game. No. He was like one and three at one point, I think, at like one point. 40 minutes in. Yeah. yeah. So it was Sadoi who just happened to be unkillable that made the game quite easy for them. Well, mm -hmm. not easy, but easier. Can we call Sidoy the MVP of the game? He got an ultra kill, didn't he, at one stage? Uh, yeah. And During, after uh, that, it was like, fight. okay, I have mech now and like 1.5k gold. It's all okay. Yeah. I think Solo and um, Sidoy both played very well, actually. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard between the two of them, I think. To get Solo kind of fed a couple kills. At one yeah, but point. he also did exceptionally well in the fights. Like the, the bottom fight, he played mm -hmm. very well, like when they were about to win. And I think he got a couple of like good picks during the mid game as well. So yeah. I don't know. I don't think you can forget about Yo as Gold Black. I mean, they took a lot of shotguns to the head, but yeah, that's but a shotgun that's not going to solo. I you mean, can't the be an MVP for dying, okay? He always got the weave off. You can't even. be an MVP because yeah. you instantly died. No, no not you, can. you just take the, take the space no, creative. Team. Space creative. Damage absorbed. No. Okay. Like, a Can friend of mine said, support are a free Lincoln for the carry. There you go. Boom. Sometimes free three Lincolns. Right. Exactly. For the carry. So I think that's, that's kind of what it is right now. But anyways, that's about that game. Um, we're going to move into a game that's different from this game. Dog because it has people. two North American teams, although one of the teams is not really entirely North American. But they do have three players right now, I think. It's... No, MSS. no, no, just there. two. Just two. two. Yeah. Yeah. MSS and um, Fog. 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 They're as North American as C9, which is not exactly, North which American. Exactly, which is not North American really, but hey, I mean, who can play North America? They don't have so many good players, apparently, so they have to Damn. borrow some from Whoa. Europe. Damn. I can't well, even argue it. <laughs> that's the thing. Yeah. Anyways, Dog versus Liquid coming up, and let's introduce first the teams, and I think the first team that we will introduce is Team Liquid. And here are the guys. These guys... Most that people have been talking about them recently is about the drama, the fluff post, the subsequent Blog apology boys. and more stuff. But I mean, when you're in a situation like that, when everything's stressed on you, um, you have to kind of take control. I mean, if you're liquid, right? Like everyone's looking at you and everyone's like, oh, now you're in the spotlight. You have to perform well. Do you perform better or do you struggle because now the attention is on you and you can't handle the pressure? Well, fluff's captain, so... He's yeah. captain? Did, yeah, did, did he's, did drafting. he's drafting. So, because I mean, the since, since the block came out, they won 1-1 one, one against C9. <laughs> uh -huh. Not too bad. They beat E-Hug, you know. Got him. And they lost to 4-Sweet. Four 4-Sweet, four four hey, hey, Best Peruvian team. And best Latin American team in the world. Best Peruvian best Latin <laughs> American team in the world. <laughs> I'm confused, Yeah, man. It's, Peru it's a Peruvian team, for okay, sure revenge. Man. It's like uh, every time I talk, shout out to all the Spanish community that's always watching, they're like, yeah, man, let's, let's see Latin American great hope. Uh, I think they still have a couple of years to go. Uh, <laughs> but who doesn't have hey, man. a couple of years to go is actually Team Dog. Okay. And Team Dog, uh, they have kind of a change of heart. And Demon apparently is not playing anymore in the team as a, um, is that official? As a starter. He is kind of a stand-in right now, but no is one really knows. Is the team stress? Uh, mm, I, I'm going to say I talk to the team and know. I talk to them. I know. But Demon, I, like, Demon yesterday made them. a tweet, says, who can you trust anymore? So I don't know. That <laughs> seems pretty emo. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's a good point. But the guy that acts actually kind of like a staple in this team is Mulgulik. Mulgulik, I remember him from the CLG times, like if you remember by TI2. Yeah. Yep. Um, they actually won. What, weren't you casting that um, tournament with uh, Beyond the Summit? Actually, did, uh, like before Beyond the Summit was created as a studio, there was a tournament called Beyond the Summit 
World Tour or something like yeah, that, just yes, before yes, TI2. Yes, yes, yes. And CLG won yes. that tournament. They, and they had Pika, they had Misery. Yeah, they won. Loda. Loda, they had, and it was a really great team, but Smulgulik was this guy that was very consistent all through and through. He loved to play Darkseer back then. He's not playing Darkseer anymore because he's not that great of a hero. But um, I'm looking forward to see that team because the team has a lot of emotions. Pike had misery players that sometimes perform greatly and sometimes they just tank, but they need an anchor. They need someone that's always there for them. And that guy can be Smulgulik. So anyways, guys, thoughts on the game that's coming right now? I don't have like anything to follow that. Super sweet narrative you just had right there. So I'm ready to get into the game. Okay, Lumi, are you ready to get into? I the don't game? want to write a blog about it, but let's just watch the game. And see how <laughs> go. Well, I mean, what better words than that? Let's walk into the game and see what these two teams can show us. It's Liquid versus Team Dog coming right now. That's for the in-place march. I had to walk into the game. Uh. That's what I was doing. Look, I, he set me up. Okay, I couldn't just leave him hanging. It's like when somebody sets you up oh, for a pun, Jesus. you just got to take the opportunity. Yo, you know I'm lifting I mean? hard right now, guys. Lumi went for the two I'm chair. I'm sure these chairs wow. weigh like 10 pounds. Next level. Jeez. Anyway, second game of the day. It's Liquid versus Dog. I personally am favoring Dog in this. Uh, I haven't seen Liquid's new hope, whatever you want to call it. I'm suddenly a little bit less emo, so my team's playing better. I don't know how, like... You know more than me. I, mean. I don't know much, but I know the power of communication, man. You talk to the team, and you trust the team, and the team trusts you. What? I don't yeah. think that's how it works. Uh, I don't know if you post a blog about it, that it's like trust. I know there's a lot of people who might trust specific players, and that player might not trust them back. Damn. It's not like mutual. It is mutual if there is true trust. You're like... I'm cold. You're like the Dark Knight Eskimo. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay, so in the studio, they turn the heating off at 1800, which is 6 o'clock, right? Can't pay for it, man. Which is basically at the beginning of the show. So by the second and third game, we're basically outside. Like, yep. it's tough. Yes. But the first game is always, like, really warm. Yeah. And then it's just, like, gradually, gradually colder. Yeah, but that's actually, um, I think it's just the building itself, right? Like, yeah, it just, it's, it's just... Well, it's I just, guess normal people don't work at this time. Ah, who says we're normal? We're awesome. Awesome people aren't normal, Shane. Are they not? No. Okay, yes. Not even once. So, Team Liquid, they've managed to secure themselves a Batrider Morphling, and Team Dog have taken the Invoker Visage. Yep. Last time we saw Team Liquid play uh, Batrider, it was quite fun. And he uh, stole some big plays on Aegis. You guys remember that? Mm -hmm. One of our many Aegis deals at Dreamly. Pretty big stuff. He was drugged up in that match. Yeah, he just like went AFK for a second. He's like, I'm fine. I'm in the trees. Uh, and they like owned him. That game also featured a big axe. And yeah. then they lost the game. Spend a win, man. Yeah, but so far Team Liquid's gonna be drafting and Morphling. Now Morphling, generally when we see it, it's like a you know carry kind of situation. But we also see RTZ for Team EG being playing at solo mid. Any chance we're gonna see that for Boba? It could be. North American teams have a tendency to kind of take what other teams do, mm. you know? Well, and so most teams do that. Really. Yeah, but I mean, like, they do it immediately. Like, they say, yeah. like, oh, this seems really good, let's do that. And then they try it, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Yeah. I'm still not entirely sold on the Morphling mid thing. Way back when, when we saw, like, Morphlings versus Invokers mid, that was actually pretty common. And you they, mean a TI2 when, during, yeah. like, it just went solo mid and won every single lane? Yeah, it was, like, really, like, even back then, I still thought Morphling was crap. Oh, okay. But You're just a hater, man. I don't like Morphling. Okay. Like, I, I don't, don't like, like the Morphling order. I mean, that was back when you could adaptive and auto attack during waveform, mm -hmm. and I still hated playing it. Why? That was so strong. I, there's you can do something it. about no. the hero. He's a carry is. hero that yeah. actually brings the action you can, early. You can um, adaptive and, and use items now, but you can't auto. Oh. Yeah. Mm. So you get like two out of three. Mm. It ain't bad. I'm sorry. You're trying to spill my coke? I, I just. I'm you, so cold I have to like I move still don't around. know where you got that glass. Well, I actually. We were talking about we're one. I don't think I can. Because there's only one can. glass. I hid the rest what of What is them. this, Highlander? Yeah. There can be only one? And you're treating Shane like an intern. It's like, get me a glass <laughs> of water, bitch. <laughs> now. Hey, man, I'm the only reason he got here alive today. No, wait, no, I'm not. You, you took wet bus. Yeah, I took the deck. Nah, you're off the hook. Let me go get me a glass. <laughs> right here. I don't Damn want tea. tea. Oh, Jeez. Yeah, I thought it was really you weird. It's really fancy. Everyone drinks like coffee and I tea guess. out of glasses. I'd rather have cheese than tea. I, I guess it depends on the tea. Anyway. Clockwork. What a hero. He's really good I'm against actually, Morphling, I think. I don't actually like him against this, these two heroes. Really? Yeah, because 
Okay, sure, you can still be disruptive to the bat rider when um, when he like tries to initiate. That's or the idea like that. for the pick, right? Yeah, I mean, it, it's solely in. against the bat. Uh -huh. But against Morphling, I don't think it's that good. He drains his mana. Yeah, the mana burst is not too yeah. bad. It's okay, but and Morphling's auto attack range is really small. So if he gets through cogs at the right angle, uh, I mean, I, I get your idea of Clockwork not being able to lock down Morphling, and you know, I mean, I guess after a waveform, if you manage to catch him, that sure, would be nice. Yeah, sure. I, I think the hero's fine. But no, I don't think Clockwork's a bad hero. I just don't know if I like him here. Okay. Yeah, team that? team Doggy in their last two matches, what we watched them recently, they they seem to really like the two one two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so we expect them to do something similar. They really like the Marana, which has not been banned out yet. But it looks like we're gonna see a little bit of Visage and CM, so possibility of an offensive offensive trialing coming out of Team Dog. Which yeah. against Morphling would crush it, like pretty hard, I think. I mean, they, they're going to have a difficult time killing him, but they'll kill the supports, most likely. Well, yeah, but aggressive try lanes aren't necessarily always about just the kills. It's about how much you can stop the other hero from sure, farming. Sure, sure, sure. So I think, honestly, Drow. Really? Just go ham. If you're Team Dog, sure, why not? Okay. Because Drow is a hero. You don't necessarily need to rush a BKB, but you can. And you still do a lot of damage inherently. It's kind of like the same reason why Luna can rush a BKB because you still do a ton of damage just because of your skill set, and you can just sit there and just attack people. Plus, you already have Visage Birds to peel for you. You have a Clockwork and an Invoker who could potentially go Exort or Quaswex. I'm kind of leaning towards Quaswex this game, although he might go Exort now that they just picked a Storm who could mm -hmm. potentially be mid, just because Exort is a bit better at winning the lane I think against Storm. But either way, I think that uh, Team Dog right now. Um, I like their draft a tiny bit more. Gonna have to see what carry they're gonna pick. But Team Liquid do have very, very strong mid and late game. Are you still as confident with the draft pick after seeing the storm? If you're like kind of less, yeah. less confident. I mean, I, I'm not sure if I like the draft before the storm because of Weave alone. Like, I feel like Weave could shut down a lot of the potential damage that draft could bring to the table. So, if if uh, Team Dog's going for the camp, uh, carry, I, I'd like to see a little bit more mix. So maybe like a Marana that they seem to like a lot, or maybe a Luna. And both of them are still in the pool. So. Who do you think if Clockwork and Batrider go 1v1, like in a lane, who do you think comes out on top of that one? That, not by much, but... Like Bone7 this. says Clock wins that <laughs> matchup, but Bone7 really? plays Clock like day in, day out. So he really knows... Um, I mean, you, you really have to outplay the other player. But if that's what Bone7 says. Hmm. I guess Batrider's attack range isn't that great. Yeah. And... He can't really go on him if yeah, he has you, the Yeah, the bat yeah. can't go on you because of cogs. But I don't know if that means you just win the lane. You know, I think yeah. if you both farm, then we, we no just one. don't see that matchup that often, so it's hard to kind of talk more about just you know aside from theory. I just don't understand why he would say that the clockwork wins. I'm sure he played the matchup before. No, I'm I'm sure he has, yeah. but I'm just wondering like if well, both heroes farm evenly, then who wins the lane? Because I think the both heroes would farm. Yeah, what makes the clockwork actually yeah. win? Oh wow, Team Dog going with a Spectre. Okay, pick. so defensive trialing here with a Spectre. Spectre is an interesting choice. Actually, Spectre is not bad of a defensive trialing hero, right? Like, it no, depends. it's not. Yeah. It's not that bad. But we don't... I mean, we're assuming, I guess, bat offlane right now. Yeah. So, against bat, Visage and Sam should very effectively be able to zone him. My concern is that Team Dog are going to be a little bit stationary, at least during the early game, because that if the Visage CM leave, then the Spectre is just going to get pooped on, right? And you can't just leave with one support. I don't think... Um, well, maybe a Crystal Maiden could solo roam and be able to get a kill on mid with the help of an invoker, if it's a storm, which it looks like it will be because Bulb is playing it. So, I don't know, we'll have to see. I actually think Liquid's um, last pick, like this port Shadow Shaman is really solid. Yeah. They have a really good amount of push now. They have heavy disable, which I think is important, especially against Spectre, because even though like it's not like a Morphling who is super mobile, it's still that kind of walk off the map thing where you're like, yeah. crap, mm -hmm. we can't kill it. So you want something to hold them in place, so. Why do you say Crystal Maiden will roam instead of Visage? Because Visage actually offers little kill potential on his own. But even if, you like, say for instance, is a level 2 Visage and you go mid and you use Grave Chill and Soul Assumption, I think you actually offer less kill potential than a Crystal Maiden does if you just have one point into Nova and one point into Frostbite. Plus, um, the Visage can't really initiate the fight, whereas Nova has a very long range. And you could just start the fight off with a Nova and a Cold Snap, and I think it pretty much almost guarantees a kill. Yeah, on the other side, you also want your Visage to be the one that's getting a little bit more experience. He's a little bit more gold reliant than a Crystal Maiden, so yep. you generally want the Crystal Maiden to be the, the one that has to roam. 
Looks like Koifa is going to be the first one. Going to the bot lane, dropping a very defensive Observer War for himself. Boots and Tango is going to be his opening choice. And Fluff is going to be dropping onto the Observer as well. Looks like a little bit of checking on the Broshan. I do happening. like, um, I really like the Shadow Shaman pick. Like, going a little bit greedier with your secondary support, mm -hmm. you know? Instead of just picking something that has some kind of roam potential, because let's be honest, Sam Visage is picked like all the time. You could say they're kind of like chalk picks because they're just seen so often. But a, um, a Shadow Shaman is greedy, I think, in the right way. Because, again, I don't think Dog are going to have much movement until the clockwork starts moving. Yeah, Team Liquid's one of the few teams uh, that's currently playing like the high levels that actually pick Shadow Shaman as a support. And if you look at him just on paper, he gives you push once he gets to level 6, a 110 second cooldown. He gives you like good disables against most carry in late game. It, he scales very well as well with the blink the dagger, so I'm, it, it's a shame that not many more teams are picking him. It's a greedy support, but if you could get away with it, like in this game you possibly can, he really has a high payoff. He has a lot of anti-push as well with the Yeah, at the shock. A lot of damage uh, early Yeah, on. it's crazy. It's like 360 or something, is it? Max though? Something like that. 320 in a, in a big AoE. It's yeah. pretty bonkers. Ether Shock, what a skill. Is Even it Ether or Ether? I can't. Ether, Ether. Ether. I think it's yeah. Ether, yeah. Ether Shock. Okay. 140 damage at level 1 is pretty insane as well. Alright, so mid matchup here is Storm versus a. What well, seems to be. Well, I guess, I guess you always. Sparks, right? But. I mean, you would, you would go Xord at level 1 if you were going to be Xord yeah. just for the damage. So I'm assuming it's going to be Quaswax. I think MSS never plays Xord, actually. Maybe not his style, man. No, I, I'm the same way. I never play Xor. I'm horrible at it, actually. <laughs> I just miss sun strikes for days because I'm I'm like that guy who who like thinks that the person is going to juke, juke and them, they yeah. don't juke, and then I'm just like, well. Yeah. Right now, it seems like Boba's playing this matchup really well. He's drawing the crew back up by attacking the Invoker, making the crew wave walk onto his remnant, and then using his overload to get more lasses. So, it's actually. Winning lane pretty well. He's got his bottle out coming out to him now as well. After the first yeah, I think Quas Wex Invoker actually does worse against Storm early. But if you get to like four and you get your phase boots or something like that, then it starts to become a bit favorable for you. But yeah, Sam's definitely doing very well for himself in the lane. Sam Sam invented winning mid lane. Sam actually invented mid, not even just winning it, like he invented the lane. That's true. <laughs> it's very impressive. It is. There's not many things he didn't invent. Really? Yeah, like he invented inventing. Yeah, like the before that, people, well. people didn't even know like what it was when yeah, something yeah. they they just called them discoveries, but actually it was inventing. I see. So everyone else just discovers yeah. he invents. Right. Oh, it looks like oh, uh, Koifa, 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 no, Koifa. please. Oh, he's gonna firefly away and duh. What okay, that? fair hero, dun, dun, dun. fair hero. <laughs> but meanwhile, <laughs> Pycat is like, man, I can walk up close too. Holy. That was close, man. He's now walking back down. The oh no, he's gonna get oh, denied. Oh. He's gonna try to deny himself. Oh, nice. He does get denied. But, I mean, mission accomplished, I guess. Space created. Yeah. Not really. Hey, man. Way too forced to TP. 135 down the drain. Space. And now Clock's gonna get a little bit more room up top. Uh, yeah, he's actually not threatened by this line very much. He and actually does not have battery, so. And they know that, because level two, they can yeah, actually make a go on him. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I don't think they can kill him. It's only level two wave for him. I don't know. Oh, man. They might try. They, they might try. try. Poison. Couple more right clicks. Nah, they're just a little bit of token harass. Give him the goose. I don't know. Smuggling's really giving the goose right out to fluff. Smack him with that grappling hook, man. Looks like uh, a solo smoke coming out of way two. I'm not sure exactly what he can make out of this one. Did He's you three, man. Oh, okay, okay. Lots of deeps. Oh, here's some. Yeah, Smogaling, top lane. He's quite fine. Low. Fluff actually had to grave himself there. It's like both offlaners and supports playing aggressively on both sides. Bulba's doing really well in the middle. Yeah, but he's really marginally ahead at best of MSS right now. And MSS already has fades. Oh, and Sam is now super sad. And that's why once you get to level 4 or 5, Quaswex starts to become just a little bit too it much don't matter. for the Yo, You bottle crowing with a Godron Roshan, man. Just remnant for farm. Why does it matter that it's a golden Roshan? You it gives you that he was five growing. more mana point for Bottle Crow. Don't just spread misinformation, man. People are going to be like, making a Reddit post, holy crap. <laughs> when you go to Roshan, 79 minutes, mana. you win game. That's that's true. Ridiculous. God damn it, Lumi. <laughs> so, way to T2 
TP down to help Batrider. Batrider did not get help. He smoked back top. And now he's pulling you. Well, I think he kind of has to. Yeah. There's not really much he can do bottom lane right now. And this is the one benefit of being a Batrider that uh, Clockwork does not have. Just the capability of being able to go back and recover from a not so great early game where you had to deny yourself to dragons. Smoke League, unfortunately, does not have that luxury. Yeah. I heard Dragon Force fights in 15 minutes into the game. What? Yeah, what? that's true. That's true. But not for this game. Oh. <laughs> that's another game. <laughs> I have no clue what you're talking about. Oh. The MP no Tornado going on the middle here. Boba's going to get cold snap as well. Fox is on the. Ooh, oh, what? what? Fox thinks about it, and then was like, nah. Well, they he saw, saw the TP. Yeah. 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 If it was anybody else, I think they might have still gone for it. But since it's fluff, the grave's going to be there, and there's like almost I mean, no chance. I mean, you might as well drop up the frostbite because there's really no counter gank potential with Boba out of mana. Well, so. it's not just about the counter gank. It's just like simply a waste of time. I guess on mana. Yeah, he could just go back to the woods and kill them creeps. You know. Got to farm that CM. Heck yeah, man. He's already got boots. How is Spike at 22 creeps when TC is 33? What, what because did he miss? he spent two creep waves chasing Aha, <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And now there is a five minute Lincoln Sphere. Or sorry. What? 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 Oh, oh, holy holy shit. <laughs> okay, Look. that's literally a thousand GPM if you <laughs> have a five minute. <laughs> when I, when I see time. Morph Lincoln and item, it's like, yep, that's the Lincolns. <laughs> but, He's got uh, the hand of money, man. Yeah. He's got the Midas touch. What's the fastest you can get a hand of Midas now without uh, any kills? 4.30, I think, four minutes. Uh, like I've seen people doing some weird stuff and getting like 3.50. If mm -hmm. you don't buy any starting yeah. items but yeah. a glove, you can get it at like three and a half minutes. Hey, man. Yeah. That MV one tangle shared. But yep. you have to actually <laughs> get every single creep kill, I think, to do that. Yeah. Pretty much. Or a first blood or a courier kill or yeah. something. Like well, yeah, but if you do that, you'd get yeah. it at like two minutes. Yep. Which, if you had a two minute Midas, like, damn. You won. You actually won. Yeah. Well, I don't. You give MYM a two minute minus, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> True. That's a good early game lead, though. Not bad. Not bad. So, I still can't believe they lost that game. Kind of expected, uh, like Andy pointed out, you know, not much early game aggression. A little bit of roaming coming out from uh, Team Dog with a Crystal Maiden, but not too much stun. Who does that actually favor? The team? Uh, tr Spectre traditionally looked less as a late game hero, but I really think he's much more of a... He, he start picking up heat in mid game as well. So yeah, who does definitely. that favor? I, I think it favors Liquid slightly. Like, only in the sense that they're going to have their Batrider with a blink. They're going to have two very strong initiators. And I mean, I guess they have a Quaswex Invoker and a Clockwork for their counter initiation on Team Dog. But I still feel as though, even though Spectre does a significant chunk of damage, she's still very killable, mm -hmm. you know, with the lineup that Liquid have. And once that Shadow Shaman hits six, Team fighting in a specific area becomes impossible when Mass Serpent wards are down, right? Right. So it's kind of like that area control ulti that you really like to have, especially when you're trying to mount a push. And I'm not entirely sure how well Dog's going to be able to handle that. Yeah, I think if the Serpent ward drops down, Team Dog's going to have a difficult time uh, kind of walking around and, and team fighting, like you said. But they also have ways to prevent that from coming out in the first place with the good initiation from smuggling. The EMP tornado really decimates the Shadow Shaman, so there are ways that Team Doc could deal with that. So, yeah, looks like we're gonna see a little bit of rotation up top. And oh, Crystal Maiden's already waiting. It looks like he's got actually initiate. Here comes the Han. Fluff in really a lot of trouble. He but he graves himself, so smuggling is gonna give up the first blood. Tornado and EMP is gonna come down way too really low. Liquid TC's really low. They drop two, they drop three, and the TP from Boba a little bit too late. Well, we'll sing Tales of Revalor Smuggle League because <laughs> that was hashtag worth. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You gave up first or not? Yeah, it was first blood because yeah. there was uh, one kill, but Koifa died to the uh, to the ancient. So a three for one special, man. Not and bad. And drew TP from uh, the Storm Surt. Yep. I kind of worry for uh, Liquid late game. Like Shadow Shaman and Dazzle don't really do great against the Fire Inspector at all. They'll just get annihilated in the ulti. Yeah. And you kind of have to waste Grave after a certain point because yeah. if he haunts sure. and he has Radiance, then you might just have to Grave yourself immediately. And that ain't good. Yep. Hey, Lumi. Yes. Uh, I did this with James and Koikva. What's the name of the offlaner for Team Dog? Smuggling. Smulgulig. 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 There you go. Smuggling. Smuggling. I think he was calling him smuggling. For yeah, he was calling him smuggling. <laughs> smuggling. Look, he just I mean, it's not a bad name. No, it's pretty good. Smuggle the triple kill for this. I wish I could have thought of an internet name. Yeah. So you just call Shane. Yeah, just Shane. Shane. You have to make it sound so plain. Shane. Shane. <laughs> that was that was actually very monotonous. Well Better done. than like Bill. 
No, it's not. Mean? Bill. You got something against Bill Nye? Bill's an awesome name. He's a science guy. What about Bob? Bob Billy Bobby. The Builder. Ricky Bobby. Ricky Bobby. But John. John Wayne. I mean, if you keep listing famous people, like there, there is no. <laughs> it's like every single yeah. name. Yeah. Bruno. What's that one game that you play? <laughs> Thank you, Bruno. <laughs> It's like Calice. three degrees of Kevin Bacon or something like that. Six degrees. Six okay. degrees, that's it. Was it a game? Yeah, uh, it's a game. Yeah, it's Basically, a game. you just go back however many movies where a person has been in a movie with Kevin Bacon, and the most you can possibly go is six. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's crazy. Like, I tried it. <laughs> All right, Mass Everyone Words drop top. They Kevin want Bacon's tower? not saving this tower. Not even oh, with Footloose. Smoothly <laughs> is in position. I like how you have to try so hard to say that name. <laughs> Just call him Smuggling. Yeah, Can they, they get to deny though? That's the yeah, thing. They are going to get to deny because these words, oh, yeah, the words are dropping are fast and the glyph is going to ensure that. Ah, that was a waste. Yeah. Not worth no, no faith. No. They didn't They didn't anything with it. But Here they comes to deny anyway. A little bit of smoke gank in the river. It's going to be featuring the Batrider with a newly purchased Blink Dagger. Pycat, he knows. He's got the drum and face. He's going to be moving fast if he just straight up don't die to you. But however, is this Courier going to survive? No. That's no. grand. Is it really? It's all grand. He lives. Uh oh. They're gonna get go. spotted. See no yeah. the Tornado's there. Is it worth? Oh. 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 Is it worth to spend the first bat rider oh, getting CM? Oh, actually, they're not done here. It's Boba, Boba. dropping low. Boba's gonna burst it down. Sure, they got the CM, but Coifa is gonna grab Neutrals. down as well. Yes. This is Neutral. why Spectre is mass strong early is because once you have face drum finish, that's what it hurts. I mean, just it hurts before face drum finish, but you know. Them fucking neutrals. And like, how many neutral kills have we seen in this league as well? It's two and two from Koikva. Well, S4 killed himself yesterday to a, a null assassin Lucky. camp, which was pretty impressive. Nice whiff hook there from Small League. But yeah, he actually died to null assassins with a lot of farm, which is hard to do. Yeah. Because you actually don't take any damage from that camp after like 20 minutes. As a centaur. Yeah. Well, they have spears, in fairness. So? He's like got like a freaking shield taped to his back. Yeah, but if you're gonna slay a giant horseman, you're gonna use spears. Like, you're not gonna use like swords around like that. Or I mean, I guess. Look, spears do piercing know. damage, which is not too good. I don't know How is it not too good? What type of damage would you want? I'm no expert on it. You want hero or chaos damage? Chaos damage. Oh, Pie Cat, giving way through the rundown here. He does oh, have okay. mass servant wards. He doesn't have mana to hex and drop him. He afraid. Well, yeah, I would be afraid. I'd be pretty afraid as well. No, man, if somebody so threw a dagger at me that turned the ground black. No, no, I said Pie Cat was oh. afraid. Why did he turn back? Because he had full mana. He could have just hexed and nah, dropped bro, words. No, bro, you got then... backup from the birds and misery. What backup? He didn't have backup. Nobody was even beginning to TP there. No, CM was upset. Him. No, I'm saying Pie Cat had backup. Yeah. Why he turned yeah, okay. back? I don't know. He doesn't have any points into the... The third dispersion. Spur dispersion. Yeah. It's actually pretty standard to skip it now. Yeah. Because you actually just go for fighting and just damage. Beforehand, you used to like farm radiance and stuff. Yeah. Like way, way back when Dota 2 first came out, people would just go Vanguard and they would go like 1 1 4 and they would just farm radiance. Yeah. Like that was it. That's all you did. That's your job. Yep. And then the game was basically dictated by your radiance timing. It's like if you got like a 13 or 14 minute radiance, you were you, win. you won. Yeah, that was it. Just press or and laugh. If you had like a 25 minute radiance, you lost. Well, All right, then maybe you, you go you 79. Still won sometimes. You but go yeah, 79, 79 and then you win. So like it's, it's. But that was back when Spectre AM were like the only carry. So oh, Tornado MP on Boba. Let's get the cold snap. Ooh. We'll be able to ball away. So assumption. Uh, I didn't have vision. I don't think. Man. That billion Close cast range. 2k take cash on the But even just doing bird. that, like, Bulba now has to bottle crow or just go back to base with his haste drink. Yeah. Which I guess the is. The MP tornado scary. hurts. It does, man. Drains a ton of mana. We kind of forgot about TC, who's just been sitting here. Yeah, he's been doing his thing. He's even got a Midas, which PyCat does not, which yeah. is important. Even though PyCat's um, been involved in some kills. All right, chances of TC dropping some unicorn waveforms? <laughs> Zero. TC Agreed. actually plays Morphling a lot, or used to, I should say. And um, I, I think he's one of the more solid carry players, honestly. Have, have we seen TC throw? I don't remember the last time No, TC I, I don't think he's like ever thrown a game. Yeah. Which is impressive, because North American players are known for throwing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, actually, he's Canadian, right? Yeah, That's so North there you America. go. I mean, it is North America, but it's like... I can think of other Canadians. If it was an American player, he would have thrown. <laughs> It's just how we are, man. We can't help it. 
<laughs> That's true. We just like hear the bald eagle and we just go in. All those years of baseball. Yeah. You know, there's a Beastmaster set with the bald eagle now. Yeah, that's true. Even though it's not called a bald eagle, it pretty much is a bald eagle. Is it on his shoulder or something? Uh, no, it's like the summoned hawk oh, or whatever. Okay. I just think, like, like, fucking two years too late, if they get, they gave Hannah that, that cosmetic TI2, mm -hmm. Liquid would've won, right? Yeah? Just pick him Beastmaster every game. Just beat them with patriotism. Oh, there's gonna be some action here, bottom. Come on, MSS, go, 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 oh, go. Tornado with another whiff. whiff. How did he miss when he was daggered? Way too, still could be in trouble though. Oh, EMP comes out. Air frost by Yates dead. No, Rip. Liquid ran into it. Lost mana, no grave. <laughs> that ga grave cast range, man. So low. Level one grave. I just think that Team Dog, considering they're up against a Storm Spirit and a Bat Rider with the early blink dagger and they've only gave away two kills, impressed. Just really good rotation, and whenever there's fighting going on, they're the one that's initiating the fight, not allowing Team Liquid to do anything. Team Liquid's been looking, they've been smoking around, trying to find these kills here and there, but just can't find it, man. The Spectre's really working out for them. He's, like, rotated really well, he got loads of kills. Wow, well, it's it's not hard to rotate when, when you press your ultimate, you're right <laughs> next to it. Like, you're rotated when you press oh, all EMP too. Tornado and a Dagger, Liquid, Ooh. way too melt. Are they gonna fight this? I think they are. Yeah, Storm comes in. Bulba, he's gonna go for Fog. That's definitely a kill. Okay. Looks like uh, TC manages to secure it. MSS and PyCat are the heck out of here. See ya. I mean, hashtag worth if there's CM. You drew four TPs. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, one of which was Morphling. The thing is, if they try to push this after the fact, but well, I guess they're pushing I think Morphling dead. lost more gold by not free farming top and pressuring tier two. Yeah, could they be. Need to see him kill. The MP tornado. Oh, oh my go. god, Shit. MSS is killing these guys. Two man hook. Two man cop. Rip. Okay, well, MSS is dominating. It's uh, looking a little bit grim right now for Liquid. Although, let's be honest for a second. No towers have dropped yet. This is going to be the first tower that Dog are able to secure themselves this whole game. And TC still does have almost a Lincolns and a Midas at 16 minutes. Is actually the Lincoln's gonna do him anything? Like it's gonna no. block a. He's gonna need another item. Yeah. So. No, no. As in, like, it, does the damage block or spell block actually matter in this game? It doesn't. The spell block? Oh. Well, yeah. he can block cold snap, soul assumption, grave frostbite. Chill, like, frostbite. It's That's like it. not really. Wait, does it block dagger? Yeah, it does. If you click it on them. Right. But the, you can click the dagger past them, yeah. and it'll still hit. Not blocking much. I guess, you know, that's where you talk about the regen and whatever else. Yeah, it's just for ef efficiency on the map, basically, more than anything else. Yep. Well, was not having a good time. We're, you know, much further away from a... Uh... I mean, he's not doing that bad. He's only 1-1. One, one. But... Considering the amount of EMP tornado he ate, though. It's just yeah. uh, not good for the stomach. For I the almost heart. think that you have to go BKB first in, in games like these. I don't, I, I don't I mean, know. sure, after every gank, you're if going he, back to well. If he didn't have a bat, I would say yes. Okay, fair enough. But I mean, he's not the only initiator, so I don't think he necessarily needs it first. And if he does go first item BKB, then the rest of his team can't really follow him up, you know what I mean? Because MSS has really good zoning with EMP Tornado, and they have a clockwork, so he would kind of just BKB go in by himself, you know? I don't know. I, I don't think it's that good. He'll probably make one after the Orchid, but I don't think first would be worth it. Okay. So in this position, MSS TPs to the tier 2, and someone else is going to TP to the tier 1, I think? Are they? Maybe. They don't have Glyph, yeah. so if they were going to, then they would have to down. do it now. Yeah, I think that tower is just dead. So he just TP kind of farm? Oh, he didn't do it. Well, maybe it was just miscommunication. I well, mean, my question was, like, what position do you want to TP to? Like, Well, if you're going to fight, you should TP to the tier 2 first, right? Because then you can be in position without them having seen a TP. And of course, you don't want the TP to be longer when you show them one. Clockwork Hook into the mid lane. Fluff gets caught. He's going to... That is a really early grave. But uh, he's going to go down regardless. I think. Yeah, he does. Boba tries to make something out of it. Tornado. Oh. I think Koifa might be dead. He yeah, and Firefly runs out in the wrong opportune time. Misery picks up a double. And speaking of Misery, he's about to get the Axe up there soon. Meanwhile, yeah. way too gets caught, but uh, he's going to TP up. Holy crap, my yep. cat is farmed. Yeah, he nearly has the Radiance. He's like 1,200 gold away or something. No. No, he's like 900, 900 away. gold away. I mean, if you press Alt, Dog just wins the fight, right? At this stage in the game, it almost yeah. kills Way2 and Fluff from like full health. 
I mean, Wade 2 could just hex the illusion, so... Yeah, but there's still going to be, like, he's not... Well, there's no... Not there, there won't be one that's giving him a pure damage yeah, desolate proc, true. so that's that's where a lot of damage comes in. So I guess Wade 2 could survive, but if you have to use a hex at the middle of a team fight on illusion... Well, I mean, it's either that or die, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So pretty much your options <laughs> at this point. They're going to find a CM, though. Ooh. Is that worse? MSS is pretty close. <clears throat> Yeah, they really want MSS. Uh, Smoke's dun, gonna break. Dun. Bubba wants to go in. He go! wants to go for MSS. MSS is so oh, far, though. He wasted quite a bit of mana there. EMP Tornado's gonna come out. Quake for the oh, with the lasso go on MSS. He manages to dodge the EMP. He doesn't lose his mana for that. MSS looks like he will finally go down here. Frostbite onto Bulba. He doesn't have much mana left. He's gonna get a grave. He might have been able to TP out there if he didn't use all his mana, but I guess the birds were there attack. to po uh, potentially stun it. Security. Yeah, Fluff will be able to TP away. No, on the back line, the smoke lane picked off the uh, Koifa. Looks like by using his hook. There's a Roshan going on. This is this is so ballsy. Space created. And, and they don't know, though. They don't know. They have no idea. This is like... This is some next level Roshan right This here. is like when Boxer did two Marine drops at different bases. Like, all right, man. Wow, the first one's one cool. Know. That's old school reference. Fogged. Just seen Roshan being done. Oh, he's gonna check. <laughs> I love this. He doesn't know where they are though. He can't. Oh no! He can, now he can see. Now he can see. Oh, he had the words. Yeah. yeah. And he's running at them. He's oh, he like, wants go, to go. 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 Wait for this me. is his time. Oh no! Tie cat. He wants to go in. TC is gonna get his Aegis pop pretty much straight away. Frostbite on the no, fluff. Grave no, still in no, cooldown for about alive. five seconds. He's still. Yeah, he's tanking through it, man. Boba goes in. Tornado EMP. Boba needs to get the heck out of there. EMP is going to be dodged. No, Fluff, Fluff actually walks into it. Gets cold snap. Also going to go down here. TC retreats with his waveform. And Boba is going to drop as well to PyCat. So this is um, not looking so great. Nope. Radiance just got picked up. Han is online, man. Oh, they want oh, Han oh. right now. I'm still waiting for that one time where Spectre haunts and then jumps between five illusions because you can do that now and just get an ultra kill. Oh, Koikfa. Yeah. Yep. Hmm. Oh, and the Hulk as well. Oh, the oh haunt is coming in. Wait, his haunt lasted that long? Like, he just used reality. How long does it last level two? Six seconds? Jeez. What a skill. Is this where you just go refresher, right? Because yeah. you would actually just kill his whole team, yes. your whole team with refresher. Yes. You, you do. Uh, that would be pretty I mean, you can go defuse a blade too. That's pretty good. Ah, nobody gets that out of him. Refresh is hilarious on Spectre, actually. I mean, really, what would they do against that? You can even sit in the well and do it, like it. Yeah. I mean, you... you it's wishful thinking, I know. He you, probably you suicide bomb the storm to go in and orchid it to prevent the next haunt from coming out? <laughs> we can't take another one, Captain! Yeah, this game got out of hand real quick. For a while, I was looking, like, okay, yeah. even though Liquid had lost a few, but they just kept getting picked. Like, the whole game is just I mean, heroes this, getting picked off. This lineup is designed to have Team Liquid uh, Storm Spirit as well as a Bat Rider to go for picks to create a space for TC to do whatever he wants to do, but that never happened. Yeah. We saw the power of, like, EMP as well. Like, he's gotten EMPs on Dazzle, like, three or four times in the game, and Dazzle's just, like, standing there. Like, what do I do now? Level one grave, man. <laughs> yeah, it's not... What a not, skill. Yeah, you, you have to take it... Level it and max it, I think. This is probably the perfect reason to do, because if you get too close, that EMP is going to hurt you. I just think that being close on Dazzle in any situation is bad. Like, I don't see a reason to be close, unless you're, like, playing super aggressive and you know that you're going to win the fight. Um, okay, TC got a free bird. Easy birds, man. Easy life. He's still 2-1, though. Zero. TC. Never feeds. Yeah. Even though the rest of his team's feeding, he's not. Well, I mean, when you have the most farm and the Aegis, and uh, you have strength morph well, and a morph lane. He didn't even need the Aegis to not die bottom. Yeah, that's true. Okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> Look, I'm saying two sides of the coin here, man. Okay. It's a triple-sided coin. Or can just land on the edge, right? Yeah. Like, he just stands straight up and down. <laughs> here comes the big smoke gank here from Team Dog, and the, pe the player that we fe featured earlier, Smuggling, and he's been landing some big hooks, 1-1-8 one, one, and eight so far. Surviving that offlane very well. Looks like they want TC. TC with a hastry, man. Tornado removes that. Here we go. Tornado gonna take away EMP out of oh. mana. Cold snap and rip. He dead. 
It's gonna have to go round two though. Phase two, boys. Stay out of the fire. <laughs> Dude, look at M smuggling. He's waiting. Smuggling. Smuggling. All right, innervate the healers. Uh -oh, Already um, stuck. He is stuck. Uh -oh. That's a feat. Uh, no, no, he's got no. a replicate. Oh, oh, right. oh so Frozen is smuggling. Next level. They're gonna grave TC before Fluff goes down. That was still pretty decent, but I don't think uh, uh, poor TC is gonna be able to live through this. Uh, he's straight morphing. Straight morph. No, he's not. Usury uh, with the smackdown. Are they just think this is where you call GG? Maybe. Question mark? Maybe not. Dyer's middle tower is on But really, like, let's talk about what went wrong for Liquid. I think honestly, this is just a game where you got picked off a ton, right? GG. Like just so many situations where people were forfeiting their lives and MSS played like really well. Hit a lot of initiating tornado EMP combos and there was really not much that Liquid could do about it in response. Mm -hmm. And it was like you were saying at the beginning, Lumi, there was these situations where they were able to go in and start the fight before Liquid were able to get up like Mass Serpent Wars or anything huge like that, so yeah. they never got the momentum going. I think there was a time where Storm, and I'm pretty sure it was Dazzle, tried to gank mid? Bat Rider. Storm, Storm and Bat. Ba Storm and Bat. And then uh, all of a sudden, like both of them just died, and it was just like... Oh, well, that's the power of Spectre, being yeah. able to join the fight with FaZe and, uh, and Jumps. So, Team Dog continued to impress. I mean, they played extremely well that game, but of course we have one more game coming up today. Yep. It's gonna be MYM and versus gonna Sigma. Somebody's gonna get a win. Somebody's gonna Somebody win. guaranteed is gonna win. win this game. Yeah. Between the two teams, I believe they're 0-9, right? Right now? Yes. Maybe one of the teams can win, then they remake and the other one wins. And Everyone wins. Win. <laughs> I hope so, I hope so. But of course, we're gonna have uh, Sigma versus MYM coming up for you guys right after the break.